Hazardous conditions are starting to build in tropical northern Queensland. Destructive winds, life-threatening flash flooding and heavy rainfall is expected as tropical cyclone Jasper moves towards the coast and makes its expected landfall on Wednesday. Sky News meteorologist Bradlin Oaks is in Cairns with the latest. Bradlin, what more can you tell us? Well, we continue to watch Tropical Cyclone Jasper very, very carefully as it moves closer and closer to the Queensland coast. It's currently sitting just over 200 kilometres away from Cairns, where we are currently. And we are watching as conditions are set to become more hazardous and deteriorate as we head through the day today and into tomorrow. Now, throughout the day, we have seen... Tropical Cyclone Jasper at a Category 1. But it's likely to intensify through the evening tonight and into tomorrow to a Category 2 before making landfall. Now, there's still a bit of model variation here on exactly where it will make landfall and the exact intensity of that. Currently, it looks to be around the Port Douglas region through tomorrow afternoon. Now, lots of areas throughout tropical northern Queensland are preparing for Jasper to make landfall and we are preparing getting ready for that to happen and this is what emergency services are warning of those residents near the coast should consider the need to evacuate uh, because it is likely to be a, above the highest astronomical tide and could cause some flooding in the beachside areas Now, the warning area does extend from Cape Flattery southward, and we are watching for the potential for life-threatening flash flooding, particularly around the Port Douglas region, where we could see six-hour totals of 200 to 250 millimetres, possibly even a little bit more. Now, a wider area in the warning area could see those six-hour totals at 100 or 150 millimetres, and that does include cans as well. So we're watching for significant wet weather that will lead to the potential for flooding and potentially flash flooding. Now, on top of this, we are watching for the winds to pick up. Even through the evening tonight, we potentially could see gusts increasing to 120 kilometers per hour and destructive winds really building into tomorrow with gusts to 130 or 140 kilometers per hour. High tide is one of the times that we're really watching as well because we could see that storm tide building in and leading to higher and higher water levels, especially for coastal areas. So we've got the wind, the rain, and the storm system that is pushing through into tomorrow. We'll be keeping an eye on it over the next 24 or so hours, but very hazardous conditions are building in in tropical northern Queensland. Yeah, okay. We'll be keeping our eye on that one. Bradley Oates, thank you for the update.